I'm Justin Jedlicka, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a living doll. That's a daddy. I've had 125 procedures. And it's been $158,000 to make me really resemble a doll. And um, chest was first, then moved on to bicep implants, tricep implants. Um, a brow bone shave, I had a brow lift, and um, I started having a couple other nose revisions. I think I'll get a little fuzzy after a while, but uh, at the end I've had five nose jobs now. So the doll really exemplifies sort of the ideal male aesthetic. When I was probably about 12 or 13, I used to always watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and I always had this idea in my brain, I, I wish that my family could have been this family that was wealthy and we could fly in private jets and uh, we could have our own boat. And that was always sort of a wish list. It was a dream in my, in my mind. And I ended up sort of emulating what I thought a lot of those wealthy people looked like. You know, they all had plastic surgery. And I realized that I had a liking for some more exaggerated features and this ideal male physique, you know, a little bit more like a doll, like a, like a hero, you know, this like tiny waist and this large upper body. I live in Chicago at the Trump Tower, but I grew up in upstate New York with uh, three other siblings. I'm the oldest of four. I lived in a lower income family and there wasn't a lot extra to go around. And the one thing that we could afford to do is for me to be able to buy paper and a pen and be able to sit down and sketch. Art gave me a way to sort of escape reality, a way to get away from all the chaos of my family life. Could, I could put myself in any sort of fantasy realm and sketch it out. Now, I'm developing uh, a customized muscle enhancement implant line at this moment. Playing around with the shapes to get an idea of the custom implants I want to have made for my next surgery. I didn't start wanting to look like a doll. Um, it's sort of taken shape over the years. I started my plastic surgery journey at 17 years old. And I had made the decision to fix my nose. After my first nose job, my surgeries became more of a creative outlet. And um, I began to realize that I could actually build this ideal male physique. So like when you look at this implant piece, this is only two centimeters in, in height. And my implant piece is a, basically a four. Eventually we'll have just an implants for everybody. So I was thinking it might be good if I looked into like just enhancing my eyes a little bit, maybe doing a little bit of permanent eyeliner. What? My mom and me have been best friends ever since I was a little kid. And whether or not she agrees with my surgeries, she's always there. Justin, you're gonna end up looking weird. <laughs> Already you're, there. You're, <laughs> Already no, you're there. not. I would definitely like him to stop if it was my choice. But I understand that that's part of his personality. He's not going to stop. I just don't want you to look really odd then. <laughs> I'm still deciding. My name is Emily, I'm 19 years old. I live in Los Angeles and I am a living doll. I usually have to start the day really early just because I have to do the contacts, I have to do my makeup, I need to find the dress that I want to wear and match it with the perfect wig and all of that. I've only been like living doll for just a little over a year now. Some of the measures that I go to to look more like a doll, I eat smaller portions of food and I weigh myself two to three times a day. I've been like staying out of the sun so I can maintain more porcelain skin and like using corsets just to get a smaller waist. But I accidentally laced one of my corsets too tight and one of my ribs is now pushed in a bit too much. All in the means of beauty, I suppose. This doll is beautiful with its big doe eyes and 
Little nose. Definitely one of my inspirations. I don't like what I see. I need the makeup, I need the circle lenses. It's just, I look like poop. My parents split up when I was very young. My mother left, it was just the three of us, just father and my brother and I. And then my father remarried. I was constantly teased in like junior high and all that good stuff. Best years ever. But like I had a small group of friends that we all shared a common interest in like anime and like Lolita. And I eventually discovered that I really loved Lolita and like dolly attire. So I became a living doll. I have several sets of circle lenses. They make my irises look larger, which helps give you the more dolly of eye. I've recently heard of like the surgery for the eyelids to make your eyes pop and look more big and dough-like, and I'd just love to have larger eyes. I don't want to deal with real world problems. I'd much rather escape into the fantasy of like the dolly lifestyle and everything and just put my problems on hold. So I've transformed from Emily to Luna. Luna is like my doll name. Usually when I'm outside of my dolly attire, I'm very much shy, but it gives me confidence, so I prefer to wear it. And it's just adorable, so that's always a plus. My name is Luna. I was born in Switzerland. Now I live in London. I am 16 years old and I am a living doll. Hey, hey, hey. I have a YouTube channel called Venus Angelic so I can become a famous living doll. I have so many fans. I have like 50 million views on my 100 YouTube videos. Fantas are really, 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 really cute over 100,000 fans in my Facebook fan club. I'm really interested in having her autograph. I feel very excited being so well known because it gives me an opportunity to inspire many, many young girls to follow their dreams. There you Thank go. you so much. I'm gonna just ask her how she is so perfect, to be honest. <laughs> my big, big dream is to become as famous as Britney Spears and move to Japan. When I wake up, the first thing I do is study Japanese language and then I start my daily facial massage. I'm going to do this and hold it for 10 seconds. I'm different from other people who try to be living dolls because I don't have to do surgery or do anything weird. I look naturally like this. People actually ask me, Venus, can you help me to make my voice really high and pitchy? But my voice is just my voice and it is how it is. I started being a doll actually since the day I was born. Venus, how when I was nine years old, there was a beauty pageant at the Thai temple where I went every Sunday. And at the end, I won the beauty pageant. And people told me that, oh, you have a doll face. You have a small mouth, you have this nose, these uh, blue eyes. I then understood that I look like one of these Japanese BGD dolls. Is the lightning nice? Because of that, when I was 13 years old, I decided to start a YouTube channel. I work really hard and long hours on my videos. So I'm checking the angle. Can you do please your dance? And of course that is exhausting and it also puts pressure on me, but I have learned to manage this and I feel like, wow, it just goes like that. <laughs> My mom is my best friend, but she also is my manager, assistant and teacher. What do you want? The holidays, so it can be anything. 
I'm my daughter's manager and we started just with a small idea but because the interest of, of the fans, her videos was growing so quickly. Uh, let's do a different angle, yeah? Aha. Uh -huh. And it just changed to a business, but it doesn't pay all the bills yet. But I hope that maybe soon we can live from it.